so today I am here doing a haul for you guys. Um, the place that I went for this is called Salon Centric. You might not have heard of it, you might have, but it is a store um, where only licensed professionals can shop. My instructor told me that we are allowed to shop there because we are cosmetologists in training. I was like, of course I'm going to shop there. This store is so amazing because it is for licensed professionals. So it has everything like you would see in a salon and all that stuff, but it's like completely almost half off. Like she said, my instructor told me that why would she buy a $26 shampoo when she can get it for $11 at Salon Centric. So basically this store is like 50% off of everything, but that's just the normal price for it for cosmetologists who shop there. So basically everything is like half off, so I was like, yeah, I'm never buying a normal shampoo anywhere else because I can get like the really high brand shampoos for half off. And she was like, you should sell them for full price and then you can make profit. Like buy an $11 shampoo and sell it for $26 because that's its real price. We're just getting it cheaper. So I was like, oh my gosh, that is so amazing. I'm so glad I can shop there. Well, it turns out they have OPI polish. And y'all know that OPI polish is like $8.50 a bottle. Well, at this store, it's $4.25 a bottle. Mm-hmm. Lovely. So I was like, mm-hmm. I'm going to buy like a 1,000 OPIs. Well, really, I only bought two. But I will be going back like every week and getting a lot of polish. Because, you know, I'm never buying another OPI polish from Ulta or anything for $8.50 because I know I can get it for $4.25 and I just felt so honored to shop there because you have to be like licensed and stuff to shop there and people can't get those deals so I felt cool <laughs> I don't know but I'm just gonna show you some stuff that I got there and some stuff that I got at the mall the same day so um it has all salon brands there, no like Walmart brands, and I didn't know what salon brand to get out of all the salon brands there, because I don't really know what's good. But my teacher, she's a licensed cosmetologist, and out of all the brands that she's used, she likes S Factor the best. And if you haven't heard of S Factor, it's just this really good brand, salon brand, and if you watch Queen Beauty, Kello Cullen, she was using S Factor products, but she's not really buying them again because she said they're too expensive. and. My teacher prefers S Factor, so I was like, well, she's a licensed cosmetologist. She must have a good opinion on this, so I was like, I'm going to get S Factor. So I go in there, and I get this big thing of S Factor smoothing shampoo. This is what it looks like. It's a big pump, bigger than my head, so it's going to last me forever. It smells... Why am I smelling the pump? Crazy. It's so pretty, though. Look at it. It's kind of wet because I've used it already, but it is like a silky pink color and I'm getting it all over the world. And it smells exactly like watermelon Jolly Ranchers. Like you know how some people will try to describe a scent and they like try and describe it? I don't even have to try and describe this. I am so accurate with this scent. Watermelon Jolly Ranchers. You don't even have to go smell it yourself because it's exactly watermelon Jolly Ranchers. Everybody agrees. So you already know. Watermelon Jolly Ranches, and it smells good. Mm. This, I got this conditioner. They had other conditioners, but this was like the crazy good deep conditioner for hair that needs it. And it is the S Factor Serious Conditioner with Sunflower Seed Oil. And it looks like this. This is so cool. This was the exact conditioner that Queen Beauty had, and she really liked it, but she ran out. There's no, it doesn't seem like there's a lot in here. I don't know how much this is. It might be like 30, 20, but I got it cheaper than that. <laughs> and then this is cool because it's like not like a normal conditioner. It has this little thingy. Isn't that cool? I feel so cool having this stuff. I feel so cool. <laughs> and I'm definitely gonna keep buying all of this cool stuff and show you. But yeah, this is what it looks like. And this smells like, kind of like that shampoo, but like it smells kind of sweet, but then once it's like wet and in your hair, it smells so minty. And I like that. I like it. So, yeah. This is some good stuff. I'm very proud of it. And then I got two OPI polishes for $4.25, which was like heaven for me. And I got this one. It is 
kind of like Sweetheart, but it is a little bit more pink than Sweetheart, less pale. And it is called Sweet Memories. So it still has the name Sweet in there. And this color was so cute to me. It was like kind of pastel -y. Like I like pastel colors. And springy. And it can make me look more tan. I like to look tan. And then I got this other color. It is like this deep purple. But it's like magenta. It's not picking up that magenta. It's picking up deeper. But it's like a magenta purple. And it is called Purple Papillona. Something like that. But yeah. These are the two colors that I got. My mom like freaked out about them because she's like, those colors look so good together. I want to use them immediately. And I was just like, okay. But um, then I went to the mall. And I just went to Claire's. Because you know, they got that sale in there. 10 things for $10. But I didn't do that sale because it didn't really have anything good on it. I just got this headband. And it has these flowers on it. Because at school, if we wear our hair up, it's like good if we wear like some sort of accessory in it. To make it like more dressed up. If we wear our hair in a ponytail or something. So I got this headband. So I could wear it. Um, little ornamented headband. And then I got this just to see how it works. It is just a Claire's little nail decal thing and you pop off the top and it is a pin which some of you probably already have a bunch of these so you know what it is but I never actually owned one so I was like I'm just gonna get it it's cheap it was actually like 550 but they have these for one dollar in LA colors and then this is just the pin I think I'm just gonna go buy a bunch of them in LA colors though because those are like the more popular ones and they're only a dollar. And this is like five fifty, and not even that good. But that is the stuff that I got for my haul. But also I've been more creative lately. I've been wanting to like make my own stuff. And I wanted to make my own palette. So I went ahead and made my own palette. And I'm going to show you guys because I'm so, so proud of this palette. It is a like cheetah leopard print palette. And I love it. And I made it myself. And it's so cute, isn't it? I know. Oh, I'm just kidding. But um, it has this little latch, and you open it, and then there's some shadows that I put in there. Now these shadows are not amazing, wonderful, organized. It's just random ones that I threw in here. I put some magnetic paper at the bottom, and then I just put some magnet. These were some of these were already magnetic, and then I just like put them on the bottom of these. Like this is my Avon quads. These two are Avon. These are little cheapo ones I put in there, and these are like. From the Maybelline quads, trios, whatever. I really like those. So I just put them all in here. And it's so cute, isn't it? Covered this whole box. And then I just put some magnetic stuff down on it. And all the shadows stick. Isn't that a smart idea? You guys should completely do it. You know, pick whatever pattern you like and do it. Because it's cute. Um, then, my friends and I... Um, I guess I could mention them in this video. Um, Han, Tone, and Ashley. Tone is Han's brother. They're Asian. And we went to Walmart and we were looking around for arts and crafts stuff for her project. And we saw flowers. We were looking at all the fake flowers. Well, Ashley suddenly got the idea to make our own headbands. And I was like, yeah, that works out great. I was just so super excited. Because, you know, we can wear that at my school and they like it. So we bought some cheapo headbands and then we bought some flowers that we liked and we like glued different parts of flowers together and made our own headbands. So I'm going to show you the ones that I made. I used this yellow headband and then I used purple flower. I think I used some blue flowers and then I glued parts of yellow flowers all around it so that it would be like contrasted and pretty. And I really like it. Look how nice and tropical. All right. And then, I also made this other one, but the super glue, the hot glue, came undone. So it's just a flower and a headband. But this is like a brown headband, and this was glued on there. And I took some blue flowers, part of some purple flowers, and then some yellow flowers. And I glued them all together. So this was my other headband. Actually, my friend Ashley right now is like at the hospital because her baby is like two months early so I really hope that she's okay and also 
I'm going to be going to Target soon to buy some stuff for her baby shower. And just wanted to mention that. Actually, if you're watching this, I'm about to go buy your stuff for your baby shower. So, that's basically it that I wanted to talk about in this video. And let me know what you think of the stuff. If you use S-Factor stuff, let me know. Or if you like my palette or my headband. So, um, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!